And welcome back to week two of League Play, brought to you by Throwdown Live in Showdown Studios and brought to you by McDonald's as well. You know who these guys are? What? I know, the right? Heck? What is what? this? How, Does that, that mean you're casting? Oh, I think... Do you even think cast, ca Yummy? Yummy Cheese Man is going to be... Well, let's cross that bridge when we get there. How do I cast? I don't, I don't, I'll, I'll teach you later. I feel so later. much smarter already. I feel, like, <laughs> I feel like... So the Yummy Cheese Man is now at the end. This is Career Lord in the middle. And we've changed things up a little bit moving into game number three. Now, game number three is going to be against Jam Gaming and Legacy Esports. And Legacy had a very surprising week last week against BFC. And let's be honest, that win, yeah, that came as a, a big surprise. Yeah, that was a huge surprise. BFC have not had the consistency as we expect, and Legacy just took advantage of that and tore them apart. Yeah, now Legacy, they're in the opportunity after proving that they could take down Billy Fan Club, the expected one seed. Now they're up against Jam Gaming. If they can beat Jam Gaming, they've proved that maybe they're one of the best teams. And it's a good time to take advantage of Jam Gaming not performing as well as we expected because they've just been taken apart. And Legacy has a bit of a legacy of beating the seeds above them. Well, let's talk about playstyles because, of course, with Legacy Esports, it is going to be a different run than Jam going up against a team like TOT. Sorry, the other team. Oh, God. The I try, I try to put it in, but no one lets me. And the other team had a similar playstyle. So how does Legacy go up against these guys? What I've really been questioning is, for Legacy Esports, can they make a cohesive unit? Because they're playing really fast. They're getting some great passes off. Yep. But we're seeing way too many times two people going for the ball, a little bit of miscommunication, r off rotations. And that's expected of a new team, but it's something that you can't afford up against an informed team. Well, that's the thing, right? Jam is so good at playing reactively, like against any other team but the other team. They're really good if you give them the time. Um, but we have the situation now <laughs> where if you have holes, it's so hard to say their name. Um, if there's any holes in the offense that they're going to be pushing forward, they're going to get punished so severely. And that's why Legacy, in the past couple of weeks leading up to this, have really struggled against Jam. Yeah, and Monty Connor is going to have to be a huge influence on this match. He is that midfield player, and he has some of the lowest stats in all of Throwdown history for someone from such a high team. And it's not because of him. He lowers everyone else's stats because he keeps shutting oh. them down and preventing them from getting the plays. And he's going to have to do that against Legacy. Yeah, he's like the no fun blanket <laughs> of Rocket League. Everyone around him just has a worse time for him being there. But for his team, works out the best because they end up winning because of it. So on Legacy's side, who do you see as potentially going up against Monty Connor or at least holding a flag to Jam's lineup? Well, I would normally go thinking Soma, but they have such a strong roster that could be anyone's game. Yummy, who do you reckon? I think Plitz is going to be a really solid showing this week. He stepped up a lot last week. He's got a lot of experience, and this is his time to shine. I don't think we can see Plitz continue to stay further back in the stats, and even now you can see he averages 0 0.8 goals per game. It's a large amount. And if we see him going off, we know that the rest of the team's going to be okay. Well, no, no, wait, sorry, no Curry, are you, you're the cheese man now. You, I'm the you smart do what one. You, you do what you want. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's a really good point. He did come from Corviday, traditionally a very, very aggressive team. So the pickup does allow them to play fast and play hard. And if they can get fast enough, the jam can't take advantage of their reactionary play style and just get punished by punching past Monty Connor, that may just be the way they win. I think it's going to be a close one either way. Okay, guys, predictions. Let's bring them in. Corey Lord. 3 1 to Jam. Ooh. You know, I I normally go for the safe bet. But, but a Jam I'm, really I'm, safe I'm, right now? I'm not the analyst, and uh, I'm really feeling Legacy. Uh, still going to be a 3 2, but to Legacy Esports. Well, if Ooh. Legacy Esports pick up this win, then Jam, I tell you what, going to be really scared. And I feel like if they don't pick up this win, how are they going to go in terms of positioning? Well, if Jam don't pick up the win and they go two games down, it's the same as what we said earlier with them almost not being able to make first seed into the finals, and that's a huge deal. Oh, God. That means they could be 1-2 and the other team could be 1-2 and they could knock the other team 
to fourth place into the gauntlet again. Let's not call the other team the other team. <laughs> the other team of the other team, not the other team. We are, however, going to leave Korea Lord as we do shortly jump into game number three between Legacy taking on to the field. And it's not going to be BFC this time. It's going to be Jam Gaming. Another giant to take down. And you say Legacy can do it. I think they can. They've got all of the mechanical skill that they need to be able to take down a team like Jam Gaming. And all they have to do is stay as a unit. But what we've seen every single week from Legacy Esports so far is that they go down about six or seven goals in <laughs> game one. So they take a while to get into it. Just gives them a little bit of breathing room. Legacy Esports taking on Jam Gaming. Game one. Let's hope Legacy don't fall so far behind in this one. And Jam Gaming will get a convincing kickoff and a convincing start in this early portion with Legacy Esports straight on defense. Already a really good start by Jam Gaming. Putting on a ton of pressure oh. and what a shot by Express. Sneaking that one under. Express out of nowhere, out of this corner. Jam Gaming. Hey, this is what happened in our last series with Jam Gaming. They come out of the gates rolling. Yeah, and Legacy Esports, we don't want to see them continuing on that legacy of going down real hard in that first game. I was actually speaking with Soma earlier this week. Apparently, it's a bit of a mentality issue. Well, it is in their name, but the legacy, you don't want it to come back into fruition as they are once again on defense. A setup for Jam Gaming is there. Only 30 seconds pass, and you can see how much control is being exerted by Jam Gaming. We'll be playing around this center field, but Jam back on over. We'll get the clear and could be looking for another setup. No follow-ups coming here through for Legacy Esports so far. Just getting that clear down and then having the clear straight back. Legacy finally going to bring it back on down. Jam Gaming will at the four-minute mark. Try and bring it on through. So Legacy Esports again, getting that clear, setting it on up. Jam Gaming back into defense, but their clears look a lot cleaner than Legacy's in this early portion in game number one. Yeah, there's the first good opportunity coming from Legacy. Again, straight back. And no! Oh, no Zen! Oh, no, Shady. Just maybe the wrong touch. Zen just, he thought that was bouncing just a little bit higher and pops that into his own net. What a shame. And that is going to be devastating for their mental game. Yeah, not going to be the wrong touch from Shady, sorry, but it's going to be the wrong touch from Zen. Two goals already for Jam Gaming, Legacy Esports. Not the cleanest start, you would imagine, but uh, here we go. There's a shot onto goal, finally. But Shady again. He's playing well in the start of game number one. They will find the clear, but it just gets sent right on back. Like you see, Esports this is exactly what they need. Ball will roll past Shady and Express has another setup waiting. Yeah, almost a shot there, but Zen, I have to point out, he is an incredibly fast player, but right now just not quite in the groove, playing just a little bit too fast for his own good. Okay, Jam Gaming still down there, defensive half. They don't seem to mind too much, they're gaining a lot more control. Ball will roll again to Shady, sorry, as Legacy Esports look for the setup on this wing. Here we go, nice and slow, not too methodical. Our legacy moving as a unit, that's what Winnie wanted to ask before this game. There's Zen with a light touch onto the backboard to roll it through the follow-up. No, not this time as Legacy will not get the pace on that shot. And we are seeing better teamwork here as it starts coming through. It's halfway through the first game, but we're finally seeing some pressure built up. Opportunity there for Jam Gaming, but not quite in the end. You know, Legacy Esports, however, have just actually slowed what Jam Gaming have started with and 2.30 on the clock already in game number one. Jam Gaming, remember, did start like this in their last series, but it ended up being oh, a pass. big opening. Yeah, great opening again for Jam Gaming. Passing plays are definitely exceptional for this lineup. They're getting some good opportunities, and it's what we expect from a team like Jam. We're shutting down Legacy Esports. There's two minutes to go, and Legacy really need a goal in the next minute. Yeah, I think this is their opportunity right now. In front of the goals, it lies in wait as the net was open for them and ripe for the taking. Bit of a kerfuffle as the ball is just going to be rotated by two people. Jam alone again off the backboard. The ball rolls on through. Oh. No one in defense. And Soma will claim that one. No one expected that huge pinch. It was between Soma and Monty Connor. A big mistake there. No need to challenge that. And of course, Legacy, we're not expecting it, rolled straight in. Well, it's going to be happy days for Legacy as that first goal means that Jam Gaming not going to have the most relaxed game one that they were hoping for. And 
1.45 left on that clock. Jam Gaming now looking for their next set up. As the third goal will at least cement some kind of opportunity. Great set up pass play. Shady in the corner. Roll it through. Yeah, they're continuing their legacy. Jam Gaming from the last game. Express the slow touch across. Shady always pushed up. And that is a two goal lead back again. Jam Gaming look like they're comfortable again now, but it's too early to say anything with Legacy Esports. Their ability to surprise and their ability to stay as a three-man unit is something we've been looking forward to. Plitz, not close enough. Shady will find the clear again, but it just keeps rotating around this Jam Gaming side. More concerned about passing, and there we go. There's a great exception. Monty Connor follows through, but Legacy Esports, a little bit intimidated. Ball misses from Express. Is it Legacy's opening? No, again, Jam just have the ball kind of under their wing. That's a huge advantage to Jam Gaming, to be in the lead with one minute to go. They're an experienced team, a veteran team, and they're solid at dealing with these kind of situations. And even after what happened in the last series, you know, Jam Gaming, like you said, Cheese Man, is just the better experienced lineup, and I love watching them when they're in their good form. It's great to watch, and we are seeing 50 seconds of a two-goal lead, so this could be very big for Jam Gaming in game number one. And Monty Connor, we're not seeing the passes come out from him, but he is shutting down the legacy attack over and over again. Not as many shots coming through as we'd expect from a fast team like Legacy. Jam Gaming right down the center. The ball bounces in front of the net and Legacy get the clear, but not good enough as Monty Connor comes to reciprocate. The ball bounces on the backboard. Now here comes Shady to pop it on down. Beautifully done. The fourth goal and Jam Gaming looking nice. And what an angle by Shady. Gets up so high, gets that touch down delicate. And he's been trying to do that all day. The first time he's executed and it is lovely. And it's lovely to see that Jam Gaming are not demoralized by the last series. I keep bringing it up because it was such a shock. And Legacy Esports, this is them coming fresh onto the pitch for today. And with 20 seconds remaining, Express is going to keep the ball down this side of the field. And Legacy Esports have to rethink their game plan and what happened in this game and see what they can improve. Yeah, I think they're going to need to start shutting down the Jam Gaming attack a lot more. But we do have to say, you know, first week, they were down 6-1 in the first game. Second week, 6-1 as well. What an improvement. 4-1 loss. That's beautiful for us. <laughs> I mean, if you look at the positives like that, absolutely. And especially since the goal that Legacy Esports did get was a bit of a surprise, I'm sure, to Jam Gaming and especially to Legacy Esports themselves. Um, but yes, it's not as much <laughs> of a loss, but I think Legacy Esports won't be happy unless they take something more from Jam Gaming. Well, they're going to really step it up from game two. Yeah. What seems to happen is they get nervous in the first game. Soma, who is their in-game captain, not really strategic captain, but hype captain. Ah. He's the one who gets their mentality in line. And once Zen and Plitz are reined in a little bit or hyped up a little bit, that's when we see that they're able to take some time, figure out their opposition, and I know right now they're going to be talking, talking, talking. How do we win this game? Yeah, no, we've seen great recoveries from Legacy, and we've seen great performances from Legacy, and we've been always talking up players like Soma, um, especially in the qualifying, especially in the week number one, and he's always someone that, in the back of our mind, we're saying that this guy is, is definitely a top-tier player. Yeah, one of the things we always see, if Legacy win... Soma has the highest score. Yep. And that's because Soma is so good when his team is playing consistently and when his team is not giving him those opportunities to move forward, he plays a lot less. In fact, he's got some of the lowest scores when he's not winning the game. Win as a team, die as a team. I guess that's Soma's advantage, disadvantage. We jump into game number two and Jam Gaming will take the first one. You know that in the past, Legacy have had some pretty sufferable losses. It was a good shot to start things off, and we we're just talking about the man, Soma, starting to perform again. And the shot's already coming on from Jam. As Monty Connor finally getting some shots on board. And Monty Connor will pass it back, keep it nice and safe, and Shady passes it upfield, but Soma to intercept and interrupt the flow of play from Jam Gaming. Legacy Esports showing that they can do that very considerably. The Express will look for the center, and it's Zen off the wall, but the ball bounces first, and it goes back and redirects around. Shot on in, and Jam Gaming, game number two starts strong. Jam Gaming capitalizing on Legacy, playing the patient game, and you can't do that against Monty Connor. That quick pass off, 
and the shot in the top right, and it's not looking game uh, good for game two. No. Communication for Jam Gaming in game number two and one has been a big highlight here, and Shady has been getting the success. As we do see an early goal and an early lead. This time I didn't say gold. Express on the right wing. It will be Monty Connor to follow through. Shady there misses the touch. Will it roll in anyway? Not quite, but close call. It's interesting to see Monty Connor opting for the pass there. Just knowing that he can trust his teammates. A lot of people would take the shot, but Jam Gaming, they've got a lot of trust. A lot of trust. It seems to be working for them, however. And Legacy Esports will now have their opportunity to fall in each other's laps or arms, whatever you want to call it. Monty Connor off the backboard again. And I think the trust game is something I haven't played in a while. That's why it's a little bit confusing. We'll keep playing off the backboard. Express through and a lot of good touches. A great pass across here. The read from Jam Shady once again to get that across and express. He doesn't miss those. He's one of the best strikers in OCE. Jam Gaming showing why they are one of the best teams in OCE. Even after a couple of blunders, but this series has been nice and it has been clean. Legacy Esports still struggling to get off the ground. I don't feel Legacy Esports are really going to be able to take this one back. Three minutes and 30 seconds is enough time, but the way Jam are playing, it's really shutting down any opportunities for, for Legacy. This cohesive unit of Jam Gaming now setting up for their third goal. Three minutes, yes, enough time, but I completely agree with that, Cheese Man. There is so much potential in Jam Gaming right now, let alone potential. So much good play styles. Legacy, have they found an opening? It is just Plitz by himself. Quick demolition on the backside will mean that Monty Connor gets rid of Zen out of the equation, and Express may be bumped, but he will not be forgotten as Jam again passing it upfield. I mean, if Jam win this one, then every single win, or every single week that somebody has played two games, they've won the second one. This is the last match of the day that is a repeat of any team. <laughs> I love how Jam Gaming just impressing my socks off in this series, though. And they will continue to do so. Legacy Esports finally getting it down and getting a bit of offense onto Jam Gaming's line. But it will not matter. Zen's going to wait back in the midfield and pass it around this corner. The ball to get centered through, but no one from Legacy Esports will respond. So Jam will continue to play this slower pace and... Just wait for the pass. We're starting to see some pressure plays coming through. Legacy Esports almost getting that, but they're backing each other up. The rotations are getting tighter. They're getting closer and closer to scoring their first goal. Well, let's see if this makes a difference. And let's see if it actually does get that first goal eventually. There's two minutes remaining on this game. And Jam Gaming bringing it on up. Can Legacy Esports continue to put this pressure on? Mm. We think so. It bounces in front of the goal. There was one initial touch. That shot to come into fruition. And the demolition, that will definitely slow things down. That's got to be devastating. Soma, he had that shot. He got it perfect. And then it just bounced down off the crossbar. So close from Legacy Esports. Jam Gaming this time. Two all. It could be, sorry, 2 nil. Could be a quick 3 nil as they jump on down off the roof. The shot was there in front of goals is Soma. Express is going to pump it on back. As it hits the roof, it will bounce in front. And Legacy Esports getting very close, but Jam Gaming still keeping up the pressure. Jam Gaming right now, one minute and 20 left to go, and they are already looking to take this one out, but no, Soma with the shot, he's brought it back. Jam Gaming just didn't see that one coming, and Soma finally getting Legacy on the board. A bit of a mechanical guard, and Soma played that perfectly. Soma is the captain. He's leading from the front, looking to get that goal lead. And they've got one minute. This is what they need, Hysterics. Oh, my God. Jam Gaming have just suffered the wrath of Legacy when they come together, when they communicate. And at least when Soma starts performing, which is what we've been waiting to see. Legacy now bringing it back on down with a minute remaining. Jam will get a quick demolition, but it doesn't matter. Soma is the one to take it out, and Shady has to get on back. If Monty Connor can get through and set up another shot, this will be an opportunity for Jam to close game two. Game two is looking like Jam's game, but 40 seconds, and Legacy have picked up the pace. They need to get this game, but no there Monty Connor shutting them down off the roof. Not necessarily the angle he wanted, but it, you know, he'll take those. Yeah, off the back of Plitz as well. That was nicely done, and... Nice angle, nice play. Jam Gaming getting the third goal. And we did say at that number three, it could just be it. Legacy have two goals in under 40 seconds. Can they do it? 
I think the Jam Gaming. They've got this one in the bag, and it's looking tough for Legacy. They don't want to be too down. The reverse sweep is going to be almost impossible. Okay, here we go. 20 seconds remaining. Jam Gaming again. Still in that lead. Plitz is setting it up for Legacy. Soma was coming in hot. 15 seconds remaining. An interesting turn. An interesting tide for Legacy Esports. But with the clock counting down, I think they may have just secured it. I think they may have done very nicely in game number two. What an impressive performance from Legacy to fight back. But as the clock will come down, it will be Jam taking two as well. And Jam Gaming are 2-0 in the lead for this series. They've put on a real big showing, and you have to look at Shady right now. Not only that one goal coming out from him, but two assists. He's getting involved in every single goal. Yeah, I mean, like, the guy's got padded stats, let's be honest. <laughs> Let's be honest, he's got some really nice padded stats. Hey, if Jam Gaming win this 3-0, I mean, it'll be a really different pace. And I know that Legacy are a different team from what you go up against in the other team. But it, it'll be a really big showing here that Jam Gaming are definitely not a forgotten team yeah, this week. Yeah, Legacy, they've proven that they can beat Billy Fan Club. Yeah. Anyone who can beat Billy Fan Club is a team that you have to take seriously. Yep. So even though Legacy Esports basically dominated through that community qualifier, it doesn't matter. Jam Gaming can still prove that they're one of the best just by beating them. And Jam Gaming are doing exactly that with two games already under their belt. They're looking to take it a quick three and zero. Legacy Esports have found a couple of nice goals and it is always Soma who leads the way. But I guess you say, not good enough at this stage. You need to start picking up some games. They are starting to pick up the pace just a little bit, but it might be a little bit too late. Jam Gaming now have three opportunities. It's very hard to hold them out over and over and over again. And Jam only need one good game, and they're having multiple good games in a row. And multiple good games means that the third could be no exception as we do jump into exactly that. And a great kickoff for Jam Gaming means that Shady's already down this side of the pitch. And the offense begins once again for Jam. Here we go, Legacy. They punch it on right back, but Monty Connor is strong in defense. Monty Connor, he's holding that midfield really well. But it doesn't matter. Legacy Esports getting the best of this first part of the game. Yeah, I thought it was Jam Gaming's to take, but it was just Legacy Esports punching it right on back. And Plitz, there's the exception, he passes it on up. It's Express on the wall. They go for the challenge mid-air, but it will go over to Jam Gaming. The shot onto goal. Shady to clear it away. Shady to get those shots, but Monty Connor again getting these big clears and shutting down the attack. Only 45 seconds have passed, and it's already been a very good shot on goal by Legacy Esports. Here we go. It's Jam Gaming's turn as they push themselves up. Monty Connor still rotating back, and they're going to take it slow. Legacy looking for the passing play. Monty Connor intercepts. Very nicely done. And there it is. Follow it through, and Jam find the line of defense and punch it right on in. That big clear just coming in so clutch. And, of course, it's going to be Monty Connor with the intercept. All the way up, Express didn't really even need to touch that. But he'll say, free goal, I'll take it. He'll take it, it'll make it look good on my stats, and of course it will look good on Jam Gaming with that first goal. And we have expected nothing less in this series so far. Shady will get the better of the kickoff, and Jam Gaming already starting this off strong. Monty Connor has a shot, goes on the backboard, sets it up for Express. And Legacy have to be careful here. The more goals, the more pressure that is added by Jam Gaming. I do have to point out the difference in passing between these two teams. Every single time Jam goes through a pass, it's backwards. It's away from Legacy Esports. But Legacy... Sorry. Drop it in. Okay, that was unexpected, and Express doesn't even jump up. Yeah, Had a full tank of boost. I thought he was going to take the save and Express. He's the kind of player you'd expect it from, but just caught out. Reverses back in, not in time. Legacy Esports, an unexpected goal, but it will be that one, and it will be matching jams. So what else can Legacy provide in game number three? Or are we going to see another clean 3-0 sweep for the third time today? Maybe not. As Soma comes in, very close call. And that upper left 90, as Curry would like to call it, but Legacy, no cigar. I feel that Legacy really need this next goal to be able to give them the confidence to win out this series. They haven't been in the lead yet, and no. Express. Express gets a free one. It travels right in front, and we saw it again. 
the overcommitments, the double commitments from Legacy Esports, two players up, and that's just a lack of teamwork, a lack of cohesion, and a lack of practice together. They haven't played long enough together. It feels like we've been saying this for the past three games as well, and it's something we will rinse and repeat, because the way this game is going is not going well for Legacy Esports. They'll bump someone out of front of goal, and Legacy are trying to match it up. Two members push on forward, but Jam Gaming getting the initial clear so much quicker than Legacy can provide shots. And now Jam are pushing up. There could be another open goal. Looking for the Devo, it was shady to fly through. And Legacy, they'll be happy it doesn't go in, but Jam are not stopping. Jam had keeping this attack up, and they're showing right now they can get some solo goals as well. Most of them will be coming off passes, but you, they've got the mechanics to get that single goal, to get that one-person shot. Yeah, we, we've known that for a while now. It's just Jam stuff going on here. And ladies and gentlemen, 2 minute 30, remaining Legacy setting on up. That was a great start by Zen. It's a great opportunity for what can happen if Legacy do find that drive. The touch will go over to Monty Connor, well placed. We'll go over to the corner, he's setting it up for himself. The midfielder from Jam Gaming as Shady rotates back. And Express, just try and go for the air dribble. Takes it through center field, Legacy Esports. They put it to a rolling stop. And Jam Gaming continuing to try and get this third goal. The shot is there, off the corner, Monty Connor. But it will bounce back and forth and Legacy trying to reply to that pressure. Monty Connor reading the play so well. All of Jam Gaming just trusting each other and knowing exactly what touch they're going to make. Legacy Esports bring it to this corner and trusting each other is really important here. Legacy, is someone there for Zen? No, they're not off this corner. Will be redirected and over to Legacy's left wing. That's Soma waiting for Jam Gaming. Look like they're okay in defense, but how okay are you in front of the goal? It rolls across, opening, and plits to equalize. A double mistake in defense by Jam Gaming. Monty Connor with the first mistouch. Shady could have continued it through, but Plitz, we see him in the perfect position. He's patient and waits for his moment to strike. I guess you could say that was part of trusting each other for Legacy Esports, or more about Jam Gaming just pulling up a blunder. It seems like these blunders have caused these goals time and time again. Jam Gaming now looking for the setup to make sure that they're rationalizing themselves and saying, no, this should be a 3-0. Bumped out of the way and Jam continue. Jam are getting the attack on once again, but this time Legacy look really good in defense. The rotations are solid. They know where each other are. And that's letting them hold out for now. Plitz tries to cheat the ball, but Express gets it first. Plitz now into the air to defend and clears it away to the wing, but it bounces on back. This is not good. Jam Gaming are continuing this up, but they leave it for Zen. Zen gets it through, and it's finally in the defensive side of Jam Gaming, and Zen is not stopping him. Great work. Considering he had zero boost for most of that play, he was able to continually take out the Jam Gaming players, and has given his team opportunity to go get boost. And there was a setup for Zen as well. And whether they slow that down just purely for that, I have to ask some questions later. It's 2 all, it's 20 seconds remaining. This is game three. And Shady, I was questioning that for a while, but he was confident, quietly confident. And if anything, they're setting the ball up a quick demolition. Monty Connor brings it back in. You've got 10 seconds and you're counting down, wondering if we will see yet another overtime for week two of league play. The ball's in front of the net. It's Legacy Esports taking and they are not letting it drop. But finally we bring it down and we're in overtime once again. First overtime for this series and we've seen Legacy improve over and over again. This is their time. This is their game to win. I would like to hope so, but no! Express an opening! <laughs> Just as you were talking up Legacy Esports, Jab. Clean at 3-0. Did I say game to win? I meant game to win. <laughs> yes, that's the... I, I don't know how to help you there, Cheese Man. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Legacy Esports will go down. And Jam Gaming, yes, the last one was not clean, but it is still a 3-0. And recovering from what was not the best series in the last time. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Jam Gaming as well have put on the show. They've shown that they are one of the best teams. Well, Jam Gaming going to be happy with that. And uh, like I said before, Korea, that was nicer. Like, instead of getting 3-0'd against, this time they're the ones doing it.
happened, right? And it looked bad if my first down analyst desk, I got the prediction entirely wrong. <laughs> no, well, you did, you did pretty good. And I, I think we should be proud of Jam's performance in the second time around. Uh, they were more of a cohesive unit. We were talking, that's what we wanted from Legacy. But this time it felt like Jam finally able to respond. Yeah, they did an excellent job. This time we saw them whenever they, the plays went into the corner. They could do beautiful setups that went across the center of the pitch. The rest of their team was there to follow it up. They were just more consistent and they read each other much better. Yeah, I think that's a really good point that they were there to follow up. Legacy Esports, they would get the hits. They'd get some great opportunities. They'd even get some great passes. But the difference between them and Jam Gaming, Jam Gaming knew where they were going to hit it. They were there before even their opponents knew where they were going to hit it, and they trusted each other. Didn't feel like there was as much possession, however, by Legacy. So when they did get the ball, some nice plays coming through. Of course, Soma with that goal, which was one of the few goals in that Legacy series. But when Jam had the ball, you knew about it. It was loud. It was big plays. And then when Legacy had the ball, you're like, okay, they're trying for something, but it never just... Felt right. Yeah, they never had meaningful possession. Yeah. So every time you saw them move up with the ball in the first couple of games, they would get stuck into the corner due to Monty, Connor, and Express kind of coercing them and shepherding them in there. And once they were there, they just end up overcommitting all three and then couldn't do anything. Big clear, they'd lose the point. It happened over and over and over. And in the first game, I don't think Plitz or... or I think two of their players didn't even have like anything on the scoreboard. It was like straight zeros, maybe a one. And that happened two consecutive games in a row. It just shows how badly they're getting punished even when they had possession. Yeah, it really prevented them from being able to keep pressure. Yes. Because they had two people rotating in, looking for that pass, and then there was no third, the no backup to keep that up against their opponent and to drain Jam of boost. So Jam were pretty comfortable most of the time when they're on defense. Yeah, and then on the flip side, you had players like Jam when they go forward with Express. He Every time he went for a touch... His team had already opened up the goal and he landed it. So his accuracy was insane. It was like 70, 80%. And it wasn't just because he played exceptionally well, which he did, but it was because his team was there to support him and set him up with those pass plays beforehand. Well, the good thing is that Jam have now set themselves up to be 2-1 yeah. in the lead. They've still got that opportunity to take out first seed going into the gauntlet. And now Legacy are in the troubled position. They're 1-2 down. And as a community team, they're here to prove themselves. Of course, Legacy did have a nice start beating BFC, but going down against Jam means that Jam will be the ones going out to party tonight. Well, sort of. It is going to be 1-1 one and one for their series today. However, coming up next, and as our last game of league play for week number two, it is going to be You See Me taking on BFC. So two fresh faces jumping onto the field. So we'll be right back for the final game in five minutes.